These button hover effects will absolutely blow your mind. Number 1. Wave animation. This is how the animation looks like. To create this, we're gonna create a simple button and there's going to be two elements inside that are going to be animated. Let's create a button. It is going to be positioned relatively. Padding on the left and right, six. And padding on the top and bottom is going to be three. Font semi bold. Text is going to be blue 500. You're gonna have a border of two pixels and the border is going to be blue. We need to hide the overflow because we're gonna have two animated elements inside. We're gonna use the group class to create a simultaneous hover effect gonna have rounded corners and cursor is going to be pointer when you hover over this button indicating that this is a clickable element inside we're gonna have three span elements two of them are going to be for the animation and one is going to have this text hover me it is going to be positioned relatively we're gonna set the z index to 10 to make sure it stays on top of the other elements when you group hover gonna turn the text to white let's use transition color and set the duration to 800. On top of this text, we're gonna have two span elements. They are both going to be positioned absolute. We're gonna set the inset to zero, which will set top, bottom, left and right to zero. Width and height is going to be full. The background is going to be blue 500. We're gonna use transform scale. So the way this is going to work is one element is gonna scale from left to right and the other one is gonna come from right to left. So this first one is going to have a scale on the x-axis which is going to be zero and since this one is gonna come from left to right you're gonna set its origin to left it's gonna have some rounded corners. The top right is going to be full and the bottom right is going to be full. And when you group hover, you're gonna set the scale on the x-axis to 100, which means this element is going to get bigger on the horizontal axis and it is going to fill the background of the button from left to right. Let's use some transition, transform. Let's set the duration to 800. Transition is going to be ease in and out. And we're gonna set the z-index to zero to make sure these elements are behind the text and since this is going to be the opposite we can set the origin to right so instead of coming from left to right this is going to come from right to left we can delete the bottom right roundness and turn this rounded top left full let's see how it looks and there you go number two shining background this is how the animation looks like. We have this shining effect coming from bottom left to top right. Let's create a button and position it relatively, padding left and right six and top and bottom three. Gonna create a gradient to right from pink 600 to purple 600. Gonna set the text to white and font to bold. Gonna give it some rounded corners. Gonna hide the overflow. Gonna use the group class to create a simultaneous hover effect. Gonna set the cursor to pointer and on hover, you're gonna make the button just a little bit bigger and the hover effect duration is going to be 300. Inside, we're gonna have two span elements. One is going to have this text. Let's position it relatively and set the Z index to 10. And behind this text, you're gonna have this shining animation. Gonna position it absolute. Gonna set the inset to zero, background to white. And we're gonna lower down the opacity to 30% gonna rotate it 45 degrees and we are going to move it on the x-axis minus 100% on group hover you're gonna bring it back to its original position which is the 100% you're gonna move it back by 100% let's give it a little blur and transition transform gonna set the duration to 500 and let's see and it works perfectly number three ripple circle here is how it looks we have a simple button and basically there is a element in the middle that scales up to fill the background of the button when you hover over it. Let's create a button and position it relatively. Gonna hide the overflow. PX6 and PY3. Let's set the font to semi bold. Background is going to be white at the beginning. Gonna give it a border and border is going to be black. Let's give it some rounded corners and cursor pointer. You're gonna have this span element that says hover me. Let's set the Z index to 10 and text black. On group hover, gonna set the text to white because the background is going to be black. Let's give it transition colors and duration 500. Let's create another span for the animation. Gonna position it absolute and set the inset to zero. Rounded full, background is going to be black. And at first, 
it is not going to have any scale. So scale zero on group hover, we're gonna set the scale to 150. Let's use transition transform and set the duration same as the text. Let's position the text relatively and use the group class on the button. Let's see. And there you go. Number four, sliding text. This is how the animation looks like. When you hover over the button, we switch the text inside and the second text basically comes from bottom and the first text goes to the top. Let's create a button and position it relatively. Set the width to 32 and height to 12. Background neutral 800, text white, rounded corners. And we're gonna hide the overflow. Let's use the group class and cursor pointer. Inside, we're gonna have two span elements for two text. So first one is going to say hover me and let's write something else for the second one. Let's position it absolute, set the inset to zero and make it a flex container to center the items inside. Let's use transition transform and let's set the duration of the hover effect to 300. On hover, we're going to use group hover and we're going to move this text to the top so we can use minus translate y full and right now if i hover over it you can see the text is moving to the top for the second one let's position this one absolute as well set the inset to zero make it a flex container and center the items so this one is not going to be visible from the start so let's move it on the y-axis full this will make this text go to the bottom so it will not be visible let's use transition transform and set the duration to 300. When you group hover, you're gonna move it back to its original position. Let's see how it looks. And there you go. The first one moves to the top and the second one comes from bottom to the top and it works perfectly. Number five, background fill animation. This is how the animation looks like. We have a dark background that slides from top to bottom. Let's create a button and position it relatively. PX8 and PY3, background white. Let's use a two pixel border and make it black. Let's make the text black and set the font to semi bold. Give it some rounded corners and hide the overflow. Use the group class and set the cursor to pointer. To create the sliding background effect, gonna use a span and position it absolute. Set the inset to zero and background to black. Let's move it to the top by minus 100%. So this will not be visible at first. And when you group hover over it, gonna move it back to its original position. Let's use transition transform and duration 400 and Z index zero. Right under it, you're gonna have a text. Let's position it relatively and set the Z index to a higher number. So the text stays on top of the background. On group hover, you're gonna make the text white and use transition colors. Set the duration to 400. Let's see. And there you go. Number six, underline animation. Here is how the animation looks like. On hover, we have this underline effect coming from left to right. Let's create a button, position it relative, px6 and py3. Text is going to be large, font semi bold, and make the text blue 600. Let's use the group class and cursor pointer. Inside, we're gonna have this text, hover me, and a span right under it. Gonna position it absolute. It is going to be at the bottom left. So left zero, bottom zero. At first, it's not going to have any width. So width zero and height five pixels. And let's make it blue 600. Let's use transition all and set the duration to 400. When you group hover, you are going to set its width to 100% and it is going to have fully rounded corners. And it works beautifully. Number 7. Background slide. So this is how the animation looks like. We have this black background coming from left to right and it fills the background. Let's create a button and position it relatively. PX6 and PY3. Font semi bold. Let's give it a border and make it black. Hide the overflow and use the group class. Give it fully rounded corners and cursor pointer. Let's create a span that says hover me. Position it relatively and set the Z index to 10. Text to black. On group hover, gonna make the text white. Use transition colors and set the duration to 400. Right on top of this, you're gonna have the background animation. Position it absolute and set the inset to zero. It is going to have a black 
background so it is going to move from left to right so first you're gonna hide it on the x-axis by minus 100% and on group hover you're gonna translate it back on the x-axis to zero which is the default position it is going to have rounded corners as well let's use transition transform set the duration to 400 and it works perfectly number eight corner fill so this is how the animation looks like on hover we have this rectangle coming from top left to bottom right and it fills the background let's create a button position it relatively the x6 and py3 let's give it a border of two pixels and make the border emerald 500 text is also going to be emerald 500 set the font to semi bold and use the group class hide the overflow give it some rounded corners and use cursor pointer the first span is going to say hover me this one is going to be positioned relatively as well z index to 10 on group hover gonna make the text white let's use transition colors and set the duration to 400 for the background animation gonna use this span and position it absolute it is going to come from top left so top zero and left zero at first it is not going to have any width or height so width zero and height zero background is going to be emerald 500 on group hover you're gonna set the width to 100% and height to 100% you're gonna use a rounded corner just on the bottom right so rounded bottom right medium let's use transition all and set the duration to 400 you're gonna use ease in and out transition and it looks perfect and that is it i hope you find it helpful and enjoyed it thank you for your time and see you in the next video